Welcome to our first online worship service from Family of Christ. My name is Pastor Brent, and though I miss being with you physically right now, I'm glad for this opportunity to hopefully connect with you. This is something new for us, so please bear with us as this journey unfolds in the time we are apart. We need to be together as a community. Sharing God's love, hope, and comfort in these uncertain times, well, that can ground us in what never changes. And that's God's amazing grace. I wish we were finishing a smorgasbord of soups and desserts tonight, and, well, there may not be the ambience of the Holden Evening Prayer, but we can still hear God's good news and guidance as we journey through this life together. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I remember learning this song when I was a little kid. Whether it was during VBS, Sunday school, or camp, I'm not quite sure. But I've been putting Kleenex or toilet paper behind my ears ever since. Uh, don't worry, I plan on using this later. <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure how old I was when I realized what this was all about. That it comes from the parable of the sheep and the goats, which is from Matthew 25. The story says this. Jesus told his disciples that they were like sheep when they cared for each other. And Jesus was their shepherd. And he said, do you remember when you fed the woman who was hungry? And for a while they didn't. And then said, oh yes. And he said, do you remember when you visited the old guy who was in prison? Oh yes, but did that really matter? They thought he was just lonely. Do you remember when you gave clothing to the children who didn't have anything to wear? They said, yeah, because they were really cold. And Jesus said, when you did that to someone else, it was like you were caring for me too. You were loving them just as I have loved you. Now, part of who we are as a family of God is that we are people that are to love just as we have been loved. Jesus again and again reached out to those who struggled or were rejected or on the edges, helping them and bringing them back into community. And we hear again and again that God loves us and is with us no matter what we face. But just as that happens, Jesus invites us, just as he did the disciples at the Last Supper, to love one another as he has loved us. So how do we do that? So often we think that we need to change the world in some major way, you know, like Mother Teresa or Martin Luther King Jr. or Elon Musk. Or maybe not, but, but I think Jesus invites us to change the world in, well, not just as those grandiose ways too. Maybe in ways we don't even know about yet. Yes, it's good to feed the hungry of the world, but maybe it's just as good to check on your neighbor. It's wonderful when we find a, a cure to a scary disease, but it's just as important to share socks and underwear with those that don't have any. Oh yeah, it's great to, 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 to donate when you can to, to millions of dollars to those who've lost their job, but it's just as important to share what you have with our local food shelf. I love the story of the sheep and the goats. Because when Jesus says, well done to the sheep, when they helped others, they didn't even necessarily realize it mattered. But it does. When we love people, or, or this world we love in built big and little ways, it makes a difference. Now, I'm a huge Dr. Seuss fan, and, and for a while, years ago, uh, Hollywood was making some all sorts of his books into movies. Not all of them were the greatest, but some were pretty good, like The Lorax. The Lorax is a story of a young boy who lives in a world that was very different than when it once was, and things weren't going so well. Well... After the boy meets the Lorax, near the end of the movie, he's invited to do a very small thing. Simply plant a seed. But in planting that seed, it makes all the difference. Now, I'd love you to spend a little time watching the video, and then spend some time uh, afterwards with the following, the questions that come with it. You can even pause it if you want to, to just take a little bit more time. I am Ted Wiggins. And I speak for the trees. And the fact is, things aren't perfect here in Thneedville. And they're only going to get worse unless we do something about it. Unless we change our ways. And we can start by planting this. Okay. 
Come on now, everything's fine. Right? I say we tell this kid what we think about that scene! People! Come on! You, get out there right now and get these people on my side, or else you're fired! <laughs> Go on! Tell them what you think! You don't know me, but my name's Sai. I'm just the O'Hare delivery guy But it seems like trees might be worth a try So I say, let it grow My name is Dan And my name's Rose Our, Our son Wesley kinda glows And that's not good, so we suppose We should let it grow Let it grow, let it grow You can't reap what you don't One way to know it's worth Let's celebrate the world's rebirth We say let it grow My name's Mary and I am three I would really like to see a tree La 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 I say let it grow I'm Grammy Norma, I'm old and I've got gray hair But I remember when trees were everywhere And no one had to pay for air So I say let it grow Let it grow Things you say just might be true It could be time to start anew And maybe change my point of view Nah, <laughs> I say let it die Let it die, let it die Let it shrivel up and Come on, who's with me, huh? Nobody You greedy dead man! <laughs> Friends, you are God's sheep. 
I see you loving others in millions of different ways. And in this time where the world seems to have turned upside down, we need to love one another even more. I hope you can come up with some ideas, and, and then I hope you try some. <laughs> what else are you going to do when you're stuck at home for a while? We've entered into a new time in our world, and with it we carry all sorts of emotions. But I hope you know this. You are a beloved child of God. God loves you. And there's nothing that you or anyone else can do to take that love from you. And you are free to become who God created you to be. Trust in God's love and live. I keep thinking of the words from uh, Psalm 43 uh, during this time. It says this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we don't have to fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and though the mountains tremble with its tumult, God says, be still. Be still and know that I am God. God is God. Find safe ways to help those around you. And for goodness sake, wash your hands. Amen.